Right now, this is Ticker News Insight. Welcome back to Ticker News Insight, where we are looking to focus on the best of business from all around the world. I'm Jamila Jallo, and to our latest story, and in today's economy, growing as a company is seemingly more important than ever. Well, our guest Jason Miller knows something about company growth, and he joins us now to provide some business owners some insight into his micro pivot strategy. And Jason, thanks so much for your time on the show today. Can't wait to hear about all of this. Now, let's get started. Are business owners afraid to put money into their businesses? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, much appreciate that. That's and yeah, right right now, people are a little afraid because the, the economy right now is a little shaky and nobody's real sure, you know, where the economy is going to take us at this point in time. And it that that creates a little at ease in the market. Yeah, for sure. And do small businesses have the cash flow to scale up during our current times? Yeah, well, that's a really good question. And uh, the answer can be a bit complicated because mm. it really depends on, you know, where business owners are in the life cycle of their business is really important. And life cycle does matter. So, you know, those businesses that are a little bit more established, and, and have that additional cash flow can absolutely reinvest in scale. Where the smaller mom and pops right now, they're, they're kind of tight right now, and it's a little bit more difficult for them to do that. Yeah. But, you know, that's where that micro strategy comes in. Yeah, for sure. And on the back of that, what is the future for small businesses? Um, as we go into the new year, next year, 2023, what can the future hold for these small businesses? Oh, I think our outlook in 2023 is awesome. I really do. And, you know, we're, you know, I like to say we're definitely far post pandemic, most mm -hmm. people. And if not, people don't want to be pandemic anymore. So, um, you know, the, the key there is continued growth and, you know, continue to have, you know, your head down, focusing on your business. And, and don't don't turn and look back as if uh, you know the worst is over. Basically, mm -hmm. is what I think. Yeah, for sure. Now, have you seen strategic partnerships and alliances help helping businesses grow? I mean, what have been the key things when it helps to business when it comes to helping businesses grow and their growth? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a community builder, so that's a huge part of what I love to do is that community building and strategic alliances and strategic partnerships are a huge part of what have gotten a lot of businesses uh, through the pandemic and continued through recession, so on and so forth, because business shouldn't be an island. And mm. the sooner businesses, you know, they understand that, you know, there are other businesses that they can joint venture with, uh, we can get away from that island mentality. Yeah. Now, looking back at today's economy, what do you view the world of advertising and, and marketing in this in this world of today's economy? Yeah, and that that's a great question because it's that it's a complicated answer. But mm. but the the short answer really is, you know, it's it's a need and you know we all have to market and advertise to a, a certain degree but do that carefully you know you look back through the years of the pandemic and even this year a lot of companies like they nixed the marketing budget was the first thing they did and that's what a lot of of companies do and they struggle is they nix the marketing you know part of their business and that's a huge mistake so mm -hmm. you have to stay the stay the course with it and maybe just scale down based on revenue mm -hmm. Now, going into the new year, as we wrap up, what are your key tips for those businesses that are really trying to grow in the new year? So I, I would say if there's a few key tips, it'd be number one, stay the course, okay? Monitor cash flow and reinvest, and reinvest cash flow as much as possible um, where it makes sense for your business model. And, and number three, really focus on 
you know, where can I create these strategic alliances in my business this year in 2023 mm -hmm. that can really help me uh, create that community flow and, uh, you know, help more than just myself, help others in the process too. Of course. Well, Jason, thanks so much for your time on the show and bringing insight to this, to this topic. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Awesome. It was great being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching Ticker News Insight. I'm Jamila Jello and head to tickernews.co for more.